So tonight I'm going to show you how you can grow corn in your garden. Let's begin. So firstly, you need a whole area in your garden dedicated to this, or you could be like most people and plant them in giant open areas. So here's how to do it. So first, I'm going to take my tape measure, and what you're going to do is you're going to plant them approximately 9 inches apart. And if you want to know what 9 inches is, this is 9 inches. So from my lantern right here, it goes about to like midway, that's 9 inches. So that's how far away you want to plant each corn seed. And for each hole, you want to sow it about an inch and a half in the ground. And as it gets hotter and hotter, you expand it to two inches. That's just how things go. And you, what you want to do is you want to plant each row of corn each week. Make sure it's different every week. So that way you have one week of corn harvested in this segment of the garden. And then in this segment of the garden is going to happen next week. Now, corn is not directly grown in pots. You need to grow this in the ground. So, usually if you're up in the north, usually you plant around Memorial Day or early June. I plant in early June. Because you can still get frosts, even though it's going to be like 100 degrees here tomorrow. But still, planting corn, usually in like late May, is the best time to do it. And usually, as long as there's no really high winds over the summer, then you get corn usually sometime around mid-August to early September. And then past that, your corn is gonna die. And also, just beware, if you get wind gusts over, I don't know, like 50, 60 miles per hour, you're gonna lose all your corn. There is a way to save it. I did it. I got a few pieces of corn out of my garden that year. It wasn't impressive, and they weren't actually that good. But I did manage to save a few of them. And always remember, never spill corn seeds in the soil you're using, because they will pop up everywhere. Now the cool thing about corn is that if you're growing it in the outback, not like the Australian outback, but like outback in your property, if you have a lot of land, then the cool thing about this is that you can basically like, you know, just leave it for the, the nature to do it itself. Why did I almost say that? So when the nature does it, you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> However, there is one small deer. What are you going to do about that? That's why you should really grow them in fenced-in fields, so we can keep the deer out. But that's only a personal preference, and you can grow them wherever the hell you feel like you want to grow them. Really. As long as you know they're safe from at least a few deer, you can grow them there. Also, don't grow them in the woods. They won't get proper sunlight there. That's about it. If you want more gardening videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I make daily videos talking about my farm. So if you're interested in that, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow.